Uh, this is an example of sending audio through a uh, laser beam, um, but I've I've rigged it up to where I've got a uh, small LM386 uh, audio amplifier. Uh, so let me just tell you briefly how it works. So that's just a weak audio source. It could be an MP3 player, an iPod, uh, sorry, iPhone or anything. Um, right now it's just a simple loop box with no more output than any other small portable device. So that audio signal is going into this amplifier circuit. The audio amplifier circuit boosts up that signal and um, with uh, controllable gain, which I'll demonstrate, uh, that audio signal is modulating the brightness of this laser beam that's right over here. So there's our laser. And uh, we're getting pretty good distance, um, great clarity. So it's all the way over there. Uh, and I'll pace that out. I don't know how many feet that is, but let's see, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, about sixteen feet. Um, I'm sure it could go further, but you can kind of see the laser beam, well, you can't really see, uh, the laser beam is a little bit diffuse at this point. It's no longer a very uh, intense point of light. It's It's about a a diffuse ball about the size of that little solar cell right there. So that solar cell is just directly patched into a 1 8 audio cable into a little Radio Shack um, amplifier speaker, which I highly recommend these for this kind of project. Um, so, uh, works quite well as far as distance goes. Uh, let me demonstrate the gain in this uh, integrated audio amplifier laser modulation thing. So, I'm going to crank the gain up and you'll hear the you'll hear the difference. So this is without cranking the gain. Now I'll crank the gain. So that gain is increasing the the brightness of the laser. I'm going to bring it down some. It's a lot better.